This top looks like it's been touched by Edward Scissorhands. Eh, looking like they're about money. Sheen booty. Can't get it out. Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today's video is not actually the video I was meant to be doing because what had happened, one of the brands that I actually wanted to buy from actually disappointed. And what I was trying to do, right, I wanted to do a new series where I'm gonna like review the brands that you guys asked me to review, um, check them out, are they legit, the Instagram brands that are trending and all that jazz. And the first brand that I was gonna do was in the style. Yeah, I, I called it out, right? Called it out, made an order, made my order. Next day delivery, day one goes, day two goes, day three goes, day four goes, day five, where's my delivery? Now to email them, they didn't email me or anything and they were like, oh, some, we think your, um, your um, delivery was lost in transit. Transit to where? I don't live on Mars, you know. This is in Manchester, hello. I was a bit like, okay, where's my order? Like, oh, we can give you a refund or we can reorder for you. I said, just reorder for me. My reorder still isn't here. But I decided to spend some money on a misguided darlings. Oh Lord, oh Lord Jesus. The order, the order from misguided is so big, it's come in a box, right? And the thing is, is that I don't really shop on misguided anymore. Put your hands up if you still shop on misguided. Let me know in the comments because I feel like kind of boohoo, pretty little things, the white fox boutique, all these other places are kind of stealing their shine a little bit. But at least all I can say is that with misguided, it's like I trust it. Um, a lot of the clothing, it looks one way on the models, and then when you bring it, it's like some tissue paper. But, you know, sometimes you get, can get some really good items and at least you'll go to get your items. I made my order literally last night. By one o'clock in the afternoon, I had it delivered. That is the kind of thing that I like. I like good service. But you know what? We're gonna roll. We're gonna check out what I could find for Misguided. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And this season is my giveaway season. I have loads of beauty and items to give away to you guys. So make sure you're subscribed. I will be doing giveaways all of February. And then, yeah, I DM you guys. So just just be aware okay right let's get into this video the first thing I got I know what this is I really wanted this it's called a Borg coat this is in khaki green this is so cute it's not bad it's already oversized I picked this up in a size 8 and it's already oversized which I like I don't know I quite like it I think it looks nice I feel like coats like this are perfect for like transitioning and I feel like I've seen quite a few people with this jacket, I'm not even gonna lie, but I buy the jacket if I think it's cute. And I do think this does look really nice. Even with my like, even with my joggers, I feel like even like now, this could be an outfit. Not bad at all. This is on the verge of 1960s secretary. You know what, it isn't bad. Let's see what this looks like on, but it is slightly giving me secretary vibes. So this was a very random item. This came in one size, like it was literally one size only. Do I look like a secretary? And I swear it looks like I'm milking. Look how big my boobs look. Why is it? Literally, I've got village feeders right now. Do I like this? I don't like this like this, but there's a reason why I bought this. I wanted to wear it with like, I have some black trousers or black skirt. Let me see if I picked up something to wear with this because I'm like sexy secretary with big village feeders and but I also look very maternal in it as well. I don't know, I don't know. Oh yes, okay. I would want to pair it with something like this. These are some black trousers. Sorry, listen people. If you've watched me for long enough, you know I have a thing for leather trousers. I always have. Every year I buy myself some leather or faux leather trousers and I just hope that they don't shine. Oh, these are not shiny. You, do you see? Do you see the vibe already? What? These are cute. They're not even over shining. Hmm. I'm trying to be relaxed and I actually, I'm 2018, I wanted to like just tone it down just a little bit, but it's really hard because my excitement comes from within. It's really real. Snatch me in. Give me a, give me a little waist, you know. Yeah, I had like a vision to wear like the top with like either something leather or quite tight. This isn't bad, I love these. 
My only thing is I have to show you guys, check out the bottom of these. It's got like a little kick flare going on. But maybe you just you just roll with it. It's kind of a little mini, mini flare trumpet going on. But I love this bit and I love the pockets and the way it comes out. This silhouette I love. I think it's cute. Going forward when it comes to my trousers, I need to rate them. How's the crotch? This is actually not bad at all. We don't have any camel. How's the ankle? I mean, we've got some slight trumpeting going on. However, it won't kill. And actually, I think it makes me look less tooth-shaped than normal. So we're just gonna give the waist, you know, a snatch level good. Okay, next up is this. You know what, I was saying this, Misguided is not, it's not a cheap store anymore. This was £25, these are £50 or £40 or something like that. This blazer dress, and I'm living for baby blue right now. It's a gorgeous little blazer dress. This is £75. This better fit like for me to actually think it's worth it. Let's try it on. It was all doing so well, but why is the gold so gold? This is the kind of gold I detest. Look at that gold. It is literally, like it's the gaudiest good gold I've ever seen. It looks like when it's sprayed on gold. Just be demure. Oh Lord, it's hanging like a flaccid penis. It looks like, what? The gold on this is so heavy. Look, it's hanging like a flaccid penis. The blazer dress is so cute. It's so cute. But we have literal shining, 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 really bright gold. This is how you can get something that could be really cute and really stylish to look tacky AF. Why is the gold this gold? It's literally blinding. I need a pair of sunglasses to look at it. And then it's so heavy, can't get it up. What the hell is that? The belt needs Viagra, oh my gosh. I'm twisting it, okay, we, it's flapping, it's flapping, look at, look at that. It looks sad. Tell me that doesn't look, hey, hey ladies, hey, hey, wanna go out for dinner? <laughs> what, what in the hell? Let's get rid of all of this. Visualize this without all of this. Cute, right? Next. Ooh, I know why I got this dress. Because I have a blue sleeve version of this dress and I wanted a khaki, oh, please be as good. I, I wanted a khaki one, but this one doesn't have sleeves. And basically, I, I did a picture in this dress on Instagram. It looked really cute. It ruches over. Ruching will snatch your stomach in, ladies. I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look good. I'd, I think that's nice. I love green as a colour on me. Is this green or is this khaki? We're getting a little bit of belly button indentation, but I have had a slice of toast. So that could be my toast coming through. Don't eat rice anymore, so there's no rice, baby. It's just the toast. But I feel like that, this is what I'm saying about the ruching. Oh, Lord, let's just cover the belly button. Um, the ruching creates shook. Like, it snatches you in. Snatch. A little bit of leg, a little bit of boobage. I'm not mad at that. I think that looks really nice. So this is basically like slinky material. I'm not, I don't hate slinky material. Sometimes it's actually quite nice. Um, this slinky material is all right. It's not bad. I've got more belly than booty, but I'll I take my little booty that I have and let it come through and say hi. But I got some jeans and I got a jumper. I very rarely buy jeans from any of these websites. So I wanted to see if I could find a nice pair from Misguided. And then this jumper looked really cute. Let's see what it looks like on together. I have concluded that most jeans smell like bleach when you get them. I wanted jeans that were a little bit different. Like they had a little bit of personality on them. I know it's not for everyone, but I like stuff like this, but I think I need a size eight. Ooh, cute! It goes round. I like the sleeves. I think they're ruched. Let's get this on. So the jeans actually fit all right. They fit kind of tight here, loose at the knee, and then real loose right here. Look at that. I feel like maybe I need a tighter size. And also look, the crotch is massive as well. We have just got a little bit of a baggy fanny going on. Um, I quite like the crop jumper. The jeans, I like the multicoloredness, but the fit is, they just don't fit very well. Next is a jumpsuit. It's made of the material I detest. This is the material that you always find on these websites. It's kind of like some like thin crepe material. That's what it is. 
but sometimes it can look really nice on. My God. <sighs> this is a lot. Honestly, this is an actual lot. There's camel and there's literally just eating, eating the crotch. <laughs> this is what this is doing for me. It is folded, unfolded, it's singing, it's talking. And look at the kick flare. It is ladies night. We're back in Elvis territory. Do you know what? I think, you know, again, if you've got the body for it, it might be a lot for you. But for me, it's just, it's just a lot. It's like, see my breasts, see my vag, see my shoulders. Like we're just seeing all of it all at the same time. I think this is even meant to be a little bit higher. If this was higher, I don't know what, I don't know how you'd actually breathe down below it would be literally singing wow so i picked this bad boy bodysuit out of the bag it's not even too bad it's 40 pounds i thought this was a dress because the way it looked on the website it was like this top and like the matching skirts so i thought it was actually a dress i didn't realize it wasn't a dress it's quite nice i like the color i like the material but the cups are mahoosive if you had no boobs this ain't fitting anywhere. It isn't awful, it has hope, but look from the side, you almost got a full blown nipple to the wind. Like honestly, it's it doesn't fit that well, but I think if you get your exact body shape or tighten the straps, it might look a little bit better. It's not bad, I'm not mad at it entirely. I love the material, but how do you even wash suede? How? Like when you buy these items, do you just put them in the washing machine or do you not wash them? I've never really thought about that, you know. Mm. Oh, this is so cute. I hope this looks so good. I love these little tops. Like, you know, it's like kind of fake Versace. It's kind of garish. It's, I think this is gonna look very nice on. This fits so strange. It, it fits all the way open. What, why is it doing this? It's really weird, it goes all the way down to here. This is meant to tie in the middle. There is gonna be so much centering right now. It's unbelievable. There's something kind of Hugh Hefner cool about this that I kind of like. Miss <sighs> Guys, that went south really, really quickly. This better be cute. She bought her favorite style of outfit. It's a little crop and off the shoulder. You know what I say about clavicle? <laughs> I like this, this is really cute. My favorite style is off the shoulder-esque, like bardo, and I love it when it's like attached to the top and to my arms. This is actually really nice. And what I like is that it isn't tight here because it has a little bit of flow, which means your stomach looks flatter because you have more volume at the top. That is nice. It was 25 pounds. It's kind of lacy. This is really, really nice. I could wear this with just some denim jeans or something. It's so cute. I love the pattern, it isn't see-through, we don't have boobs coming out. This is what I expect in clothing, this. It's cute, I love, love, love this. I saw this and I was like, this needs to be worn on. Oh, it's giving me slight nunnery vibes. But it looked very sachet on the website, sachet. So let's see if it's gonna look that way on. I love the neckline because it's a high neckline, but we have a bit of arm cleavage. You know, we don't have to show a booby. We've got arm and we've got arm and leg. To be honest, we have a lot, but you don't have to show that because if you just stand, it actually covers it up. What I love is that an outfit like this, that like you can look holy, and then you can be like, this is cute. You know what, you can leave your house like, mommy, I'm leaving my house now. I'm a good little girl. And then you're like, pow! I, I love it, it's a bit of a two-way dress. Not bad at all. Someone really gave this a really harsh review on the website and I was a bit like, hmm, maybe. But for me, this is cute. Oh no, sorry, this was the dress that someone gave a harsh review. They said, if you've got any form of a belly, you're literally going to look pregnant in this dress. So I was a little bit scared, but I am a fan of Slinky. I feel like it tucks me in. Hopefully, I have a belly. Hopefully, I don't look crazy. Oh, I love this. I love this more than I love the other dress because I prefer to cover my arms. I think this is banging what was she talking about about belly i have a belly this was hidden 
Yeah, this is better than the other one. What do you guys think? Oh, you can't tell me. Actually, tell me in the comments because I can decide what to keep and what not to keep. I do love your comments. I do appreciate it. This one on the one with the sleeves. No, look, it's actually shining. Can you see a slight reflection? It's not shining, it's got a sheen. Sheen booty. What? Tell me that isn't cute. I think this looks really, really nice. Overall, I love it. We have booty sheen. But yeah, I love this dress. I feel like this line actually creates a bit of an illusion. It kind of hides it. You definitely can't see the belly button hole. Ooh, the ever-changing color. I bought that jacket also in red. Red or green, guys, let me know. Oh, I like the red. What do you guys think? This is actually slightly larger and I like that. Not with the dress, but actually it could work with the dress. Oh, these are so nice. And they sold out in like the camels and the browns, but I didn't mind going for like a khaki in the red. I'm gonna go for the red. I think I'm going for the red, guys. I think it's nice. <laughs> we got a little Pat Butcher going on here. Do you guys know who Pat Butcher is? If you guys watched EastEnders back in the day, she used to, she was a character in EastEnders and she always used to wear um, leopard print. And actually, that's why I hated people calling me Pat. But, you know, homage to Pat with the um, leopard print, darling. Let's see, is it going to be doing the most? Maybe. Mother sucker. It, it looking like a bag of money. I think this is what this looks like. You see, the thing is, you can't be afraid of print, you know. This print here looks like looking like a bag of money. It. I just made that song up, looking like a bag of money. Eh. I don't know, you can look kind of cheap when you wear leopard print or you can look expensive depending on the fit. And I think that this has got the balance quite well. This is my get yourself a, this is my cougar dress. <laughs> I got a man though, but if I was a cougar, this is what I would wear. I think it's all right. I love it. This is my little beach dress. Like, oh, just walking through in my leopard print. Guys, I don't even know what kind of contraption I've picked up here, but I'm just gonna get it on. Sometimes there's doing the most, and sometimes there's just doing the most. This top looks like it's been touched by Edward Scissorhands. Um, I wish it fit properly, but the girls are about to go. Is it nice? It's kind of nice if it was smaller and it meant to be like this. Oh, maybe we, we, we've got under boob here. We've got under boob. Um, it's, it's a no. It's really a no. Right, finally, I've got some shoes. So you guys come on in. Let's try on some shoes. Firstly, these boots right here, they're so cute. I know that these are a copy of the Alexander Wang boots. But when I saw the copies on Misguided, I was like, you know what? I might just try them. Oh gosh, what is going on? This is really trying to not move. It's actually not moving at all. I genuinely cannot get this zip off at all. I don't know what is going on with the zip. Nope, not working. But let me show you what the one shoe looks like on. How cute is that boot on? Oh, why can I not get the other one to open? I love the detailing and look at the shape of that heel. I love that. It's so cute. I will actually go and get myself another pair. Next up is this pair. How cute are these? I love a sexy little lace up. These are banging. These are really nice. Ooh, look at those. Sorry, my legs are kind of dry. Oh, tell me these are not cute. No, but look at my foot coming out the edge. I do not think these are a size seven. What the hell? These are literally a size three. They're children's size, but the shoe's cute. The shoe is cute. And this is not rope, it's like a faux leather material, which is actually a bit more comfortable than wearing a rope. That is so cute. I'm actually going to go and buy these in a size, a size seven or an eight because I actually like them, but I don't know why they're so small. Okay guys, I am done. I decided I'm gonna do my final thoughts right here. Um, when it comes to shopping on Misguided, I feel like it's 50-50. I do feel like what you see is what you get. 
and some of the material is really good, some of it's okay. I definitely find it to be a lot better than it used to be. It's on the same wavelength as ASOS for me now and if I want to get some really trendy stuff or stuff for a quick holiday, I know I'm going to be able to get some pieces that I like. In terms of price, it's not super, super cheap anymore, but I kind of like that. Like, I do think when clothes are like £10, £5, £15, I'm a little bit iffy about that because... <laughs> Do you know what? Clothes don't need to be that, that, that cheap. £30, £40 is okay, and it means that you buy a little less. And I think when clothing is really cheap, you end up just keeping everything, even if you don't need it. But if it's less cheap, you only get like one or two things, which I kind of appreciate a little bit more. Overall, I would go to Misguided. It's a very safe website to go to. It's very safe. Some things are hits, some things are misses, but at least I know I'm gonna get my clothing. When I do these videos, I'm gonna make sure I'm trying to be as helpful as possible. It's almost like, you know what, it's consumer awareness. I'm helping y'all, y'all helping me, help me decide what clothing to keep or not to keep. And in the meantime, you can follow me on my Instagram because I'm doing giveaways all this season. Make sure you're subscribed, leave comments, leave likes. And in the meantime, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.